Welcome to a look at the Beatles Stereo USB. This is the Beatles Limited Edition Studio Recordings USB box set from December 2009. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more Beatly content. This USB contains all 13 albums that have come to represent the Beatles official UK core catalog, plus past masters for all the non-album tracks. Everything included in the 2009 Original Studio Recordings CD box set is included on the 16GB USB, which also features the 2009 remastered recordings for superior, for superior sound. sound. The box is made of the same sturdy material as the CD stereo box, but that same glossy sheen, although it's much smaller than the Original Studio Recordings monolith. The box top lifts off to reveal what's inside. An insert gives some basic information and instructions for using the USB with either a PC or a Mac computer. There's also this nicely designed small square semi-transparent Beatles tissue paper included. Hmm. Then there is a rigid plastic insert covering a nicely sculpted metal green apple USB holder. The apple is heavy for its size. It weighs in at 154 grams or 5.432 ounces. The Beatles name is expertly debossed into the surface of the metal. And the USB itself is removed by pulling the stem of the magnetic apple core upward. In the box, the apple sits in a thick foam insert for protection. Unfortunately, many of these apples suffered broken stems, causing difficulty in removing the USB stick housed within and creating general dissatisfaction in those who receive those defective items. The stem is delicate and could easily be snapped off during use if not careful. But overall, this is a well-made, finely crafted item. The USB fits into a standard USB port. Once loaded, the drive appears as the Beatles icon on the desktop. I'm using a Mac here. Clicking the icon opens a folder with the contents of the drive. The music folder contains high quality 44.1 kHz 24-bit FLAC and 320 kbps mp3 files of the tracks from every album included. A Mac Start button opens the user interface menu, which allows access to the various features. All of the albums are available to scroll through and click on to hear. The album track listing appears, and the whole album can be played or individual songs can be chosen. The MP3 versions of the albums can easily be copied to iTunes. All of the tracks and album cover artwork are imported into iTunes for easy access on that platform. FLAC files require a separate player, such as Vox. This requires a little more effort, but it's worth it to enjoy the files in higher quality than MP3, and even higher quality than CD. And they do sound good. The video portion of the USB includes all 13 album mini-documentaries which were included individually on enhanced CDs or on the mini documentaries DVD included exclusively within the stereo CD box. Finally, the USB contains complete digital booklet art. All of the photos and liner notes are included. This interface allows a user to flip through the identical booklets to those included with each CD. Or each page can be enlarged for easier reading. When this stereo USB was released, the Beatles had not yet appeared on iTunes or streaming services. It was an excellent item for fans who wanted high quality digital files. There is almost certainly a slight perceivable clarity that can be gained when listening to these FLAC files on good speakers or a decent pair of headphones. Is this audio quality so much better than the 16-bit CD versions that you must have this to enjoy the Beatles music? That's debatable but there is at least a slight improvement of the sound that may appeal to audiophiles and fanatics. 
My biggest criticism of this item is that it would have been excellent had it included the mono recordings as well, or at least offered a similar product for the mono recordings. Overall, this is one of the most uniquely designed and more collectible Beatles products out there. It's definitely worth consideration if you have an opportunity to pick this item up for a decent price you can live with. Thanks for watching. That'll put a lid on this video. See you in the next one.